we've saved lives. There's no doubt about it. Inside the Dane County 911 Center, high-risk calls come in daily. Suicidal, person with a gun, uh, domestic violence, homicidal, disturbances, barricaded, hostage situations. But when veterans are involved, things can be different. And in so many cases, it's treated just like every other type of call um, with no special resources. That was until March 1st. Now special resources are offered to help veterans in an emergency crisis. We want to make sure they get the best help possible. Paul Logan, the operations manager at the Dane County 911 Center, partnered with the Veterans Administration Police Department and the Madison VA to create a crisis intervention liaison policy. And you might have a police officer or even a crisis team that maybe has never dealt with a veteran. It's why dispatchers now ask certain questions during a high-risk call. Okay, is he a veteran? And which branch of the uh, military was he in? And do you know if he's getting any medical care now or treatment from the VA or another doctor? If the police can know that, obviously they can adjust their strategies and their tactics for how they're going to approach this situation. If first responders need more assistance under the partnership, dispatchers can get them help from the VA. Uh, they have access, of course, to the psychologists who have access to patient records for veterans. A VA police department potentially could bring a doctor to the scene of one of these incidents. Dane County Sheriff Deputy Matt Strong experienced the policy while it was being piloted. To get them through that crisis spot, oh yeah, it'd be huge. They're used to being the defender, they're used to being the protector, and so they're not going to identify it when things are starting to go wrong or whatever. The Air Force vet turned deputy sees it himself and believes the policy could save lives. What an advantage to have, Dane County has over a lot of other spots. If we can help our veterans here and show that to the state, what a huge thing that would be. For Logan, an Army veteran himself and father to a current Marine, the service is personal. Some you know, gave a lot, some gave all. All veterans gave something. I think we at least owe them, it just seems like a pretty simple thing to do. A new local policy that could help protect the men and women who helped protect us. There's little doubt that the work that we've done collectively has already saved lives of veterans. In the first six to seven months of the policy's pilot program, it helped first responders about once a month. Dane County is having such success, 911 centers in other Wisconsin counties are interested in implementing the same policy.